Futures trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hi, welcome, welcome. I'm Joe Schmidt, joined as always by my behind the scenes rice dairy production guru, Paige Driscoll. And this is Bases Loaded, where we try to break down the most recent NDPSR report as it related to the CME weekly, weekly averages. So as usual, let's start with butter. And I feel that butter is the real story here. Uh, not so much for the basis, but it's the volumes that are the real story. We're seeing massive volumes on the NDPSR report. So these are manufacturer sales. So these are sales that are coming from the plant. Typically, I like to say that there's a four and a half million pound per week average for butter. So if you go back to this week of January 19th, it was large to begin with. Initially, this number was six million pounds. And since then, it has been revised twice up to 12,232,000. At that number, it is the second largest NDPSR weekly volume ever, with the largest being all the way back in uh, July of 2003. What's interesting is if you say that the average is four and a half million pounds per week, at that 12,200,000, that's essentially three weeks volume in one week. This February 2nd is essentially two weeks volume in one week. So over the course of these three weeks, we actually have six weeks butter volume. So it's impressive that we've been able to move that kind of weight, but I think what's even more impressive is the price. Because if you look at basis, this, uh, this week on January 19th is essentially one penny under the CME weekly average, so it's a minus one basis. Here on this week, February 2nd, the basis is essentially flat to the CME. So what's impressive is that if you add up that extra 12 million pounds that they moved over three weeks at very little bit of a discount, in terms of CME spot loads, it's 186 spot loads. So they were able to move 186 spot loads of butter at basically a minus one or minus two discount to get it done. And when you consider today on the CME, it only took four loads to move the spot price down uh, a penny and three quarters. Moving on to cheese, uh, the block came out at 143.37 and the barrel came out 126.39. Now I feel that these cheese numbers uh, that block number is a little bit of a disappointment. I think that's why you've seen both the Feb Class 3 and Cheese sell off since the release of the NDPSR. But over the last two weeks, the block average has been fairly consistent, running uh, on average two cents over. The barrel basis uh, has been running about four and a half, five cents over, which has been typical for as of late. But when you consider that the CME traded down to uh, essentially a 10 year low, you would expect an increase of basis, that not a lot of sales went in in that low number. Uh, and the fact that you had consistent basis all the way down to a 10-year low, I feel that that is a little bit of a disappointment as far as cheese. And then on the bottom, of course, here we have uh, the way contract. And again, most of the way sales are still based off prior week's NDPSR or the AOM. However, it's interesting. I think this is the first week that we started to see uh, these increased sales on the CME. So I feel like the 21 loads that we traded on the CME are probably the reason for this higher than normal volume uh, of north of 8 million pounds. And uh, although this is an uptick from the prior week's uh, weigh release, it's interesting that, to know that uh, they actually revised last week's weigh down 30 cents. So week over week, if you go from the straight average, the weigh number was a little bit lower and um, probably higher than most people thought, um, but still enough to get the class three and uh, the class three features down. And then lastly, we're talking about nonfat. Nonfat again, um, basis continues to, to, to lag. Uh, we're seeing negative basis here, four cents under, six and a half cents under on the high week of the CME at 103.5. And then, of course, three cents under, three cents under. So, way, uh, NotFat has been the real story of the year, you know, with uh, the clearing of the intervention product, uh, the CME breaking out of multi year lows, uh, trading north of $1. The NDPSR continues to disappoint. 
uh, here at 98.11, it is a narrow basis and a, uh, the, you know, a high for, for quite some time. Uh, but I still feel like this is viewed as a disappointment and basis continues to, to run under CME averages. It's interesting now that the CME is coming down uh, as of the close today, where the CME was a little bit north of 99. So basically within a penny of the NDPSR, it'll be interesting to see what basis does going forward if the CME continues to trend lower. So that is it from my end. That is this week's NDPSR report. Uh, on behalf of Paige Driscoll, I'm Joe Schmidt. This has been Basis Loaded, and thanks for your time. Thanks for watching RDTV. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or send us an email. You can also follow Rice Dairy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. See you next week.